Hey guys, it's Stubber Simmer, and today I'm going to be doing a overview for the Sims 4 Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack. So I'm really excited to get into this. Finally, they created a stuff pack for me because I enjoy food so much, so I just love cooking in the Sims 4. So this stuff pack is $9.99, and it comes with some stuff, of course, so some create a sim, items and build buy items but it also comes with a new ice cream maker which I'm really excited for because you can of course make ice cream and then add super cute toppings on it so I can't wait to get into that alright so we are in create a sim currently and I made a sim her name is Erica Hampton she's just a basic sim that I made but I also put some traits that I thought would look good for the the set so I have her as a master chef in the essence of flavor. I put her as creative, a foodie, and a perfectionist. So this is Erica, and we're gonna be using her to check out some of the new items. So first let's get into the hairs. I'm sure there's some new hairs. So let's go into packs. Cool kitchen. So here are some of the new hairs. So this is the first hair, and it's a side ponytail. I think it looks really cute. It kind of has some volume at the top there. I think it looks stunningly gorgeous. It's just a little bit high, but you know, I like some voluminous ponytails. So it comes in some standard colors right here. Um, I'm just going to show them all to you really quickly. And yeah, there we go. So the next hair right here is this kind of like um, side part like side swept part hair and I think this looks really really cute um, I can totally self see myself using this uh, yeah I really like it and I'm just gonna put it in some colors alright so there it is moving on to the next hair it's a little bit shorter than the other two it actually has a little a little bandana there and I couldn't really tell but it's a little bit flat it's not so voluminous as the other two hairs I guess you could say but I still really like it so it comes in again and it comes in the same colors that all the other hairs did come in so yeah there we go next up is this hair and this hair has even less volume which is different but I still really like this hair um, I think it's a really nice short hair because um, I tend to use longer hair on my sims but I I can always like if I find a hair that's nice and short then I'll use that also so this is really nice it has some bangs there um, I think I really like that and lastly we have this hair and it's a it's kind of more of a messy type hair these hairs aren't very fancy but that kind of makes sense because you're in the kitchen so it's nothing like luxury party stuff so this one has a little bun on it um, has, it doesn't it has like a middle part I like it it's nothing really special like my favorite is this one of course but it's still a nice hair to have and I'd rather have this than not have it so <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this on her I think I'll do it I think I'll leave it in this color I kind of like that so we're gonna do that moving on is there any new hats um no, there are no no hats. Maybe I thought like a chef hat would look kind of cool, but there is none of that. Accessories, I don't think there would be, but maybe there is like a necklace or something. Yes, there is. So there's a necklace. It's just a little pendant. I think that looks really cute. It comes in some nice colors too. Um, yeah, doesn't really have to do anything with the kitchen, but I guess I like it. I'm just gonna leave that on her right now. So, let's see for the tops if there's anything new. So there is some really nice outfits. So there's this, and it's a jacket with a scarf, and I actually really like it. I, I think it looks very, it looks very professional in a way, just because the scarf makes everything look kind of professional like that, but I really like it in the yellow. I think it matches her outfit perfectly. So yes, I think I could see myself using this. The scarf is kind of like a camo-y color too, which is nice. Um, yeah, so moving on. We have this. This outfit's kind of, it's kind of different. It's a tank top with a little, little sweater thing over top of it. 
And I like it in the browns shades. I like how they added that and not just the funky colors because then it would have been a little bit too like 80s type of stuff here. So I really like that. I think it looks really cute. Moving on, we have this ja jean jacket with a tank top. And you know, this isn't really my favorite just because the way... I, I guess it looks nice, but I would have liked to see the jean go all the way through the jacket, but I still like it. It's just not my favorite. Next, we have this sweater, and it has a little print on it. I think this looks super interesting, and I like how they add new styles and stuff, because The Sims 4 doesn't have creative styles, so it can get kind of hard to add new styles, but I like how they incorporate that in some of their tops. So next, there is this jean jacket, and it has the it has kind of like the um, checkered type of type of stuff on it. Um, yeah, I really like it. I like the tank top that comes with it. Just that colors. And it comes in some different colors, so that it's not all the same. Next up is this top, and I actually really love this top. I could totally wear this. This is something I would totally wear. Um, I think it looks gorgeous. I love the little sequins on the side. I really love it. And the mint, it, it just looks gorgeous. Alright, and lastly we have this top and it's kind of a low plunge sweater with a tank top underneath. I guess I could see something you'd wear if you were cooking. I don't really know, but I really like it. Um, I like it in this shade. It, it's something like a mom would wear. Just like a mom outfit right there. That's just my guess. <clears throat> Alright, so if we go on to pants, I'm actually going to have her wear this outfit. Just because I really like that. So, if we go on to pants. I'm sure, yes. Alright, so they have some jeans. And these are like capri jeans. And I think these ones look adorable. They're ripped. And I just love these. I've been looking for some jeans because they didn't really like ripped jeans because they didn't really have any that I liked but these ones I obviously really like um yeah I love it how they come in like the non ripped and ripped so you have a little bit of variety there I really like that next is this two tone skirt and it's the side is kind of shorter in the back too and then the front it kind of evens it out in the back so it comes in a variety of colors here it has some neutrals and also some vibrant more colors, like the pinks and the greens. So, Max's favorite, okay. Alright, and then there's these pants. Um, I really like these pants. Uh, they didn't really have any pants that were open at the bottom yet. So, yeah, the belt is kind of massive, and they're alright. I mean, again, I could see like these are kind of like more mom jean type of outfit so yeah I'm just gonna put her in these jeans right here all right so let's see if there's any full body outfits perhaps and there is there's this one it's a little apron and I really like this I think this looks so cute especially in this color combo yes this looks adorable I absolutely love this I just love the way that the pants look and it kind of all the colors that they chose kind of all tie in together which is really really cute so we're gonna we're gonna put her in what I liked before just because I think that's my favorite outfit put her in the black all right moving on to accessories I believe that there is some new accessories oh never mind there is none perhaps there's makeup I doubt there would be but we can try. Yeah, there is no new make no new makeup, unfortunately. Um, I don't know why there would be any new makeup, but I just wanted to see. And there are new new shoes, so looks like she'll have to wear the shoes that I put her in. These ones right here. I'll just put them in the gold. All right, so this is Erica right here. I believe that is all for the females. If we move on to the males we have David Hampton and I just found him on the gallery because I did not have time to make a male sim so 
He is a master mixologist, and he got the essence of flavor. Um, he's a foodie, self-assured, and outgoing. So, let's go into hair. There are two new hairs for the males. So there is this one, and I really like this hair. I can totally my see myself using this. I think this hair looks great. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really love this hair. I find The Sims 4 has come up with some really great hairs for the males. Unlike The Sims 3 where there were some hairs that I liked, but others were just stuff that you wouldn't really use. But I really, really love this one. And next there's this one, and you know, I think it just looks weird with his head shape, but it definitely is a good hair, and I really like it. I can see myself using this hair, of course, a lot. I think it looks really nice. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the hairs. So we're just gonna put him in this one, because I feel like it looks better on him. So, um, let's just make sure there are no chef hats, which is kind of something I'm disappointed about. Yeah, there are no chef hats or chef outfits, which I kind of really wanted. I don't even know why, or if I'd use that, but I just really wanted one. So, there's this jacket with a top, striped top underneath. I think it looks really cute. Um... If this is informal, I think you could maybe turn this into a formal top or something. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but maybe in like the darker shades it'd look kind of nice. So next we have this jacket, and I really love it. I love all the zippers and everything, and I love how the top, like the second top, isn't just a plain like white tee. Or you could have it as a white tee if you wanted, but you also have the option to leave it as like a three stripe three tone type of top there which I really like the options of that and yeah so moving on we have this denim jacket thing and I really love this actually I really really adore this um you know the jean kind of looks a little bit fake but other than that I can totally see myself using this I think it looks amazing I really love that next up we have this little pixel sweater thing. I think it looks really cute. Looks nice. Not really much more to say about it. I just really like it. I think I love just about everything in this pack. So, moving on, we have this little, this kind of maybe like fur type of thing here. I think this would look good if they had like an outerwear in the Sims 4. That would kind of match, but they don't. But I can still see myself using this. Next up, there's this sweater thing, and I love it how the zipper is on the side and not the center, because most zippers are on the center, like you see here. But this one is on the side, so it leaves a little bit of difference to the outfit. At least I think that's a zipper. If it's not, then I don't really know what that is. But if it is a zipper, then well done. I really like it. Alright, so, just show all the colors it comes in. Next up is this little thing, and I think this is like the guy equivalent to the girl top like that, and I really like it. Um, yeah, I can see like a mixologist wearing this or something. Like a bartender, or, you know, someone. So, lastly, there's this one, and... Yes, yeah, so the zipper is on the side, so I'm assuming that is a zipper. So, they have two other zippers there. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a windbreaker jacket type of, type of feel here. I like it. It looks really nice. So, I'm going to put him in my favorite top of this pack. I just really love this top, so I think we're going we're gonna to do this. Moving on to some pants. There is one pair of pants. And, you know, I don't really like these. They're kind of ripped in some weird places. Um, you know, it's alright. I can still use this. I think it just doesn't go with the top. But, I guess it looks really good in the darker shades. Yeah, I really like it in the dark shades. Just in, like, these types of shades, it... I don't really like it that much. Just That's just my opinion. Yeah, and, like, the black and the dark blue, I really like it. Just in the... Okay, I guess the white. It looks kind of nice. Just, I find... With this top, it just doesn't really look that nice, so... Yeah, but we're just gonna do it in the black color, I guess, or... 
Okay, we'll do it in the white, actually. I think that'll look a little bit better. Are there any new shoes? I don't think there is. No, there are not. So, this is basically it for everybody. I don't think there's any new traits or anything. It'd surprise me if there is. Yeah, there is none. So, yeah, I will be get back to you guys in build by mode. Alright, guys, so I am back, and I am ready to show you guys some of the build by items. So, we're going to go into create a sim, and I actually just put a house up from the gallery that I thought, you know, why not? And this house doesn't, I don't think, doesn't have a kitchen from Cool Kitchen Stuff Pack, so we'll just renovate it, and so we can use some of the ice cream makers and stuff inside the house. But we're just gonna go out here and take a look at some of the items from the stuff pack. So, if we go over here, I'm just gonna filter the items and go to Cool Kitchen. Alright, so there are, there are not too many items, but there are quite a few. So, the first one is this um, Lumbar Liquidators Dining Chair. And I think it comes in some really cute colors, especially the green. I really love the colors, and it's just a simple chair, but that's kind of what I like because it can go with just about everything and anything that, you know, you put your bar into, so it doesn't really have to match. So, yeah, that's the chair right here, and as you can see, the colors. Next is the back support stool, so the feel of back support stool, and it's basically the same concept, it's just... Um, a little bit taller and I guess more geared for a bar so that's that one yeah if you look at the comparison here so yes it is taller where you would sit there's just a little bit of a support there and not so much of a back just a little bit of a back next up we have the very first counter from the stuff pack so I really like this counter it's again everything so far that I've seen is very simplistic but nice at the same time so you know this can go with just about everything and anything and it'll look good and it also comes in a really wide range of color schemes so it can fit any type of home you know if you have a modern home then you could do like the white and gray or if you have more of a you know gothic type of home you could do the black and red so I really like how they incorporated different colors into the home and then there's the island which is basically the same thing it's just you know the island version so a little bit longer outside the edge it kind of hangs a little bit right there all right next is this cabinet and I actually I actually need a wall for that so let's just use this wall right here hopefully it'll let me so again it comes I think it comes in like all the same color schemes so everything will match perfectly and I love the way that you can see the little the little um, silhouette of the glasses and the plates and stuff I think that's really cool I don't know if they did that with any other cabinets but I really like that I'm actually gonna check maybe if they did that with any other cabinets let's see um, okay Okay, I'm in the totally wrong section here, so I'm just gonna go through here. And, no, all these other cabinets are opaque, and this one is the only glass one. So, I'm really happy about that. I think it really adds a whole different look to the game. Okay, um, just gonna go here. So, there we go, the cabinets, and I'm actually gonna show it to you guys in a couple other colors. Let's go to... Maybe, so it comes in the red and everything. I showed the white, I really like that. So next up, we have this giant table right here. It's a dining table. Um, it comes in all the colors, I just really love it. It's so simplistic, again, and I absolutely adore it. I love the little rim right there. Um, I could totally see myself using this for like little dinner parties or whatnot. And it could fit a lot of sims on this table. So next, we have the cookbook nook, which I absolutely adore. It's just a... Okay, well, it doesn't go on the wall, but it's just a little... Kind of looks like a little step stool, but it's just a little bookshelf thing. So you could put your cookbooks in. It would be totally fit in right in the kitchen. Um, you can't put it on counters because it's too large, but you could put it 
you know, against the wall or anywhere else you might like. So next we have the Less Is More sink. And again, it comes in all the same colors. So we're just going to demonstrate. And it looks like that. I thought it wasn't going to load up there, but it did. So it comes in the red, which I think is really cool. It comes in some other colors. So it's a nice sink overall. Next up, I'm just going to delete this one so we have more counter space. Next up, we have the Spirit Bloom Bundles. And this is some gorgeous, and it can't go on the counters, in case you were wondering, but it can go on the tables. It's a gorgeous flower thing, and it comes in these little cute, cute little vase things. They kind of look like wood vases. Um, I'm going to guess that they're wood. And if you change the color, it just changes... Okay, so it actually changes the color of the flowers also. Oh my gosh, and you could do like a two-tone. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out right now. This is so adorable. So the colors can change. I thought just the vases could, but the colors of the flowers can. So these flowers, I love them. I'm just gonna, I want to see all the colors. So there's that one. The lighter shade and a lighter vase. The two-tone. Gotta love that. The hot pink with a lighter vase again. Some purple flowers. A yeller. <laughs> um, I think these are the ones we started off with. Yes. And then there's the two-tone with the purple, and then there's a white one there. I really like that. There's a blue pair with a really dark vase. And then there's these green ones. I think that's all. Yeah, that is all. I really love these flower things. They're just adorable. And I love how the pots change the colors as well so it match. It really will match any set or color. Like if you want like an accent color, it can really do the job. Like an accent of green or something. You could have a little green flower thing. I really love those. So yeah. Next up we have the Modern Sim Temporary. I think this is a something you'd put on the wall. Yes, yeah, so it kind of looks like a little chicken with some utensils on it. And it actually comes... <gasps> okay, this pack is literally killing me. I thought it was just this painting, but if you change the color, it actually changes the paintings. So, I'm about to, like, die right now. That is so exciting. So, it actually adds in a lot of artwork to your game for your kitchen, which... I kind of, I was kind of actually just thinking that we need more, we need more artwork in this game. Like, there isn't a lot of paintings and stuff, so first up we have this little citrus, this citrus melting thing. And then there's some more fruit, um, a little pop, and this really adds a pop of color to your kitchen or whatnot, or if you just want it to kind of blend in, like this one right here. I really love that one. It kind of... I kind of thought it was like trees or like a city or something, but it just looks like a bunch of colors kind of faded. And then next is the chicken one again, which, you know, is nice. And there's this one, which, oh my gosh, I absolutely adore this coffee one. I can totally see that in like a breakfast nook area. You just pop that on the wall. It'll look so, so nice. Next up is this this green like watercolor and I really love that I've never seen anything like that in this game before I just love that one and next are these little lemon slice ones again so gorgeous this is a polka dotted type of theme I really love it it's like pink and you know pink and like grayish black I really like it then of course there's a llama one because you just have to have a llama painting and oh my gosh, this one is so cute. It's a breakfast with some faces on it. I know, I could totally see that in like the family, like breakfast nook thing again. Then there's a little painting of some avocados, I believe that is. A polka dot painting. And of course, these will really go with any, any kitchen type of design you're going for. So I really like that. There's another citrus one. A, another avocado one and we actually need some more room so we're just gonna flip it to the other side an artichoke one and lastly there's a branch force thing so you really have like how many do you have here one two three four five six seven eight so you have 16 
um, 17, 18. So you basically have 18 of these super cool paintings. If I, if I miscalculated that, I'm sorry, but that's my guess. Um, so yeah, you really, you really have a lot of like artwork here. And I love it how they just incorporated that in that one little painting thing. I don't know where it went. Um, where'd it go? Oh, well. Well, I know that it incorporated it in that just one little painting thing. Which, you know, I think it's really nice. I just love that so much. Alrighty, so we're just gonna leave all this here. If we go back to our items. Um, I'm just gonna refresh this. Oops. Okay. So if we go back to our items here, we will see that our next thing is this Lighthouse Salt and Pepper Shaker, which I I really love this as an accessory. You could make like a little barbecue area maybe. Um, yeah, and then have like a little salt and pepper shaker outside or something for your barbecue. That looks so cute. And it comes in a bunch of colors also, so, you know. Next up, we have the mise en plates, and this is just a little plate rack. I think it's like a plate drying rack or storage thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but I think it's a storage thing, but I guess it could look like a drying rack thing for your plates. So that's really, really cute. Um, it comes in a green, which is nice. And then now we have the nicer homes in lots of classic cookbooks. Um, I love it, and I love... Okay. So this is a stack of like cookbooks, but I really love the way that they, when you change the color, the actual like cover of the book changes, which you know is totally cute. And this one has a little pie on it, and then the blue one is there, and then the pink one is there. Oh my gosh, they thought of so much in this pack. I just, I just love this pack so much. All the colors and stuff, all the color schemes look adorable. Um. This one has a little citrus and then a pizza on it. What else didn't we do? Alright, so we did that one. We didn't do this one. So the pizza one is up top. That one is there. So they kind of all intertwine together, I guess, in a way. Yeah, they all kind of intermatch each other of the first and second book, which I think is really cute. So moving on, we have the Mr. Hoodley's wood block, which I don't know what this is. What is this? Um, does this go on the wall or? Okay, so I guess this goes against the wall. Oh, I guess so. This is like an accessory of. Well, it's like a wall decoration thing, which I think is cool. It's a little wood block. It has some little like scrapes and stuff on it, which I really like. All right, so we have the taste of Uno Me. I can't pronounce that spice rack. So this is a spice rack, which. I really love this. We did not have anything like this in The Sims 3, so I love this little spice rack thing. And you can put this next to, I don't know, like the fridge or something. Like go along the wall somewhere. I just really like that. And then we have a knife set, which you'd put against the wall. Kind of weird, but I guess if you wanted to, now you can put your knives against the walls of your kitchen. So that's also very nice. Next, we have the kitchen shelves, which is kind of a larger one. I don't know if there's any room. Okay, well, we could place it right here. So it's just a little kitchen shelf, and there's some little spices, some pasta. I really love the detailing in this, and then they put some little paintings of um, some color in there. And does the color actually change? It does. Of course it does. These, this pack is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So the color of the frames actually change, so it can match any any set you have. Which is really the grand th theme here of matching, you know, what you have. So, yeah, I really like that. Next we have a, I think this is a lamp? Yeah, this is a lamp. Um, it's a little cone lamp, which, you know, I like. Um, I kind of needed some more, excuse me, I kind of needed some more, um, like, lamps and stuff for the kitchen. Just because the ones... These, like, big, like, little lantern things kind of got awkward, I found. Especially, like, if you add a lot. But this one is kind of skinny, and it'll look normal, at least, in the kitchen. So there we go. Alright, guys. So I just added in all the new build-by items and the ice cream maker from the set into our home. 
So, if we take a look around, I'm just gonna put the walls half up. So I added in the flowers, the dining room set thing, the, the wall shelf thing, and all of the items from the set, and then I left some of the items that were in the kitchen before. So I kind of went for the contemporary type of color, and then I put my favorite, my favorite wall piece right there. And I also noticed that when you click to craft ice cream, um, there's a skill, but it's not a new skill, it's the cooking skill. So, just to make things a little bit easier, I maxed out all of her three skills, so the gourmet cooking, the cooking, and the baking skill, even though we only need the regular cooking for this. I just maxed all those out, so we can actually make some ice cream. So, let's go over to craft ice cream, and there are actually so many flavors and there's so so many flavors for all different skills um of course for like the skill number one there's the vanilla pistachio chocolate and then it goes up like that so i don't think obviously we're not gonna have time to do all of the skills all of the ice creams i mean but i kind of want to do the neapolitan ice cream just because that's the hardest one to actually make all right, so let's see how she does it. So she just puts some milk or whatever that is in there. A little bit of oils of some sort. Puts it in this machine. And I put the machine in the baby blue, but it also came in multiple different colors. And now she's trying some of it. Mm -hmm. I don't think she's done yet. She's gonna add a couple more things if she needs to. Oh, Alright, so she has finished creating a carton of Neapolitan. The carton has been added to her inventory. So it gets added to the inventory. So she can grab a bowl, grab a cone, set garnish, set toppings, or place in world. So if we just drag this right here. I think we're actually going to move the machine just out of the way so it's not like in the way of anything. So we're going to have her um, set topping. So we're going to have some chocolate sauce perhaps. So there's the chocolate sauce. We're also going to put some whipped cream. Okay, so there's only one there, but we can also set garnish so we'll do the um we'll do some cinnamon sticks there's also okay well there's also lots of choices so there's peppermint sticks orange slices nut bar mint leaves flowers cinnamon sticks banana slices none waffle pieces strawberries and sprinkle sticks then for the toppings there's whipped cream sprinkles raspberry sauce nuts coconut shavings chocolate sauce cherries caramel syrup or none <laughs> So this is her ice cream right here. She's just eating it. It has a little, a little uh, snowflake right there. Her ice cream looks really good. Not gonna lie. So there we have it, and it just gets in her inventory. So she's just gonna eat that. All right. So I love the icons for this. Actually, I'm gonna have her craft another one. I really love the icons for the ice cream. They're just so cute. So I think I think I saw that some ice creams actually give you some interesting things. So we'll get a weird flavor. There's haunted mint, which is a pretty weird flavor. Plant matter, again. Um, dragon's breath. I'm kind of tempted to do that one. Let's see. Fruits of forest. Mental up, okay, um, let's see. Okay, I think we're going to have her do the uh, Haunted Mint. I don't know if that'll actually do anything or not. Alright. And we're going to have him just finish this ice cream off. While she's cooking another one. So it actually takes them quite a long time to finish it, but when they do, it'll go down. And she could continue. Did she not craft the ice cream? 
or I think she did actually. I think she finished it, so we're gonna drag this right there. And of course, it's a little green, so she's gonna grab a bowl just to see the grab a bowl interaction. Just a plain bowl. So I like how they added the cone option or the bowl option. All right, so we're just going to I'm gonna put this back in our inventory. And let's see what happens if she if she eats that. We're gonna have him grab a bowl also. I don't think anything will happen. Maybe? I don't know. Let's just fast forward. It takes them quite a while to eat their ice cream actually. Especially since they're talking. But she's almost done. Alright, is she done yet? She is done. And what did she get? She did actually get a moodlet, which is so cool. So she got a hauntingly saddened from eating ice cream. So these thoughts aren't Erica's own, but they're coming from inside her head, which, oh my gosh, that seems so cool. Of course, we'll be making that ice cream. And you actually, I don't know what level you have to be to make that ice cream. You need to be level six, but the taste of diet, maybe you lose weight on that ice cream? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna try and do the, um, we're gonna do the dragon's breath ice cream. I think I saw it in the trailer that gives you, like, dragon's actual breath, but, yeah, so she's gonna make that, and did he get the same moonlit? Maybe it's only on some sims, or if every sim gets it when they eat the ice cream? Yeah, so he got that one also. That's really cool. Um, so I guess just some ice creams give you these powers. Or it's not really powers, just like a moodlet. So we're just gonna finish that, and when she's done, we can actually eat it. So she finished it. And I don't know what happened, but... So Erica has finished creating. Okay. So there we go. This is the new one. We're gonna... We're gonna add a topping. We're gonna add some whipped cream. And we're going to add a strawberries. We're going to add some strawberries. Okay, so we're going to have him grab a cone of that. And then she, she's going to make us one more. I think we're going to try the, um, we're going to try the plant matter. That sounds kind of cool. So he's over here eating his ice cream cone on the couch. And he's getting this mood lit. Which looks really cool. almost looks like the ice cream is hot or something. Okay, so Erica just finished it. What did he... Is he done? So he is done, and he got... He's confident now, but he got the Dragon's Fury from eating ice cream. And then he's also sad. So, I don't know what will happen to him. But he just got the Dragon's Fury. Oh, and he actually gets Dragon's Breath from the ice cream. That's so cool. And she finished... On the other ice cream? Yes, she did. So we're gonna add this one, and I believe she's just gonna grab a bowl of that. Last little ice cream. We can grab another bowl of this, actually. So, let's see what happens to her. So, everything seems okay. Nothing seems to be happening. And she just got a little, a little green, so I think it's starting to hit her. And you can actually see the whipped cream and strawberries in that one. So she's going to stop talking to him and just eat her ice cream. And she got a brain freeze, which is actually a really cute interaction. She's just going to finish that. And he's getting fire breath as he's eating it. All right. So I'm waiting for an interaction. Is she done? She is done, and she actually, she's feeling inspired now, but she turned green. So she got, um, scrumptious from eating food, of course, and then she got the green life from eating ice cream. Tastes like pesticide. Erica has a strong desire to head outside for some sun. Yes, well, she's green now. <laughs> so the ice cream turned her green, and I'm sure there's other interactions, maybe like that diet one. 
So all these ice creams, they're pretty interesting. Some, I guess, are normal. or They may give you mm, like a moodlet, but that doesn't really change you that much. So I think I'm going to end this here. I really enjoyed um, this overview of this pack. I think this pack was totally worth it. Again, it's $9.99. So again, it's not it's not too overly priced for what you're getting. But then again, it's nothing like an expansion pack or anything like that. So it's really up to you if you want to buy it. I bought it because I thought it was worth it. Just because this is such a cool thing to add in the gameplay. And I kind of really love kitchens in The Sims. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you'd like, you could leave a comment or subscribe. Alright, bye guys!